My name is Marguerite Prey, and I'm here with the artist of The Waiting Room. First we have Robin Lasser, who is our coastal or west coast representative. Bruce Shirting, who is from Lawrence, Kansas. And Stephanie Lancher, who lives in Lawrence, Kansas and Emporia. The Waiting Room is a project that began about two and a half years ago. The premise of it was this idea that I originally had about waiting, and it was it was kind of an extension of a project that Bruce and I, who've collaborated before, had been thinking about the medical waiting room. Um, we had done a show about uh, mental illness. So um, this was supposed to be an extension of that project, but very soon it became its own thing. And very quickly, Robin and Stephanie came on board, like right from the beginning, and, and we just started really going with it. And it became so much more than anything that we originally had in mind. I've been working with this group of artists for several years, and I think it's a very interesting topic because it affects all families, whether you're male or female. You're part of a family, you have these... Um, um, situations that come up in your life uh, that you, you have to find ways to deal with. One of the things that I found interesting about this project is that uh, we had these very specific health issues that are in our collective histories as the artist in this project. And I was interested in trying to find ways to make these health issues become more physical within an exhibit environment. How can we create a tableau, is what we've been calling them, that will draw people in, in a certain sense, seduce them into the exhibit because the objects and the settings are quite beautiful. And as they approach the object and get more familiar with the objects and the settings, they start to wonder what the content is about and the pieces slowly unfold. So my interest in this project uh, has been mostly from that kind of design aspect to help create or the context for the stories to be told. The way the exhibition was set up, you walk into a standard waiting room that could be your dentist's office or a library. There are six tableaus and each deals with a different issue and this first uh, area deals with information and the concept of waiting and what waiting feels like. There are books available that people can uh, leave bookmarks in and uh, express their own interests and in things that they read in books that they find interesting. There's a sound piece that you would uh, hear with typical waiting room sounds. This introductory area is something that everybody can relate to. Everyone waits, everyone has health issues, and while you're waiting, you may come across magazines like these. We have People Magazine, we have Time Magazine. It's a place for people to wait, to sit and wait and consider their own health, consider their own health issues. We were eating fudgicles in my friend's basement. Her mother came down and said, you're gonna get fat if you eat that. One of my interests in the project is to bring sound, which often brings a narrative to the sculptural chair. So in each one of these tableaus, there's a chair where you either listen to a personal narrative or you listen to a composition that's an abstract uh, take on the condition itself. I am at the gut reaction chair right now. I just completed step one of the interactive element of this piece, uh, which we want everyone to contribute to. The gut reaction chair is about bulimia. We invite people to write their food secrets, their habits, um, what they've eaten that day on little candy wrappers and cupcake papers. Maybe crumple it up if you want to. And they then can take it over to the chair, which is a depiction of feeling bloated, perhaps, after a binge, which um, is the distinguishing element of bulimia, the eating disorder. The next step after you write your food secret is to take the plunger, put your secret down the throat of the chair, plunge it down if it doesn't go through, and watch it come out the back of the chair. This gut reaction chair is an example of one way 
that we have strategized about communicating about very difficult issues. Humor is a way uh, to engage people. Um, we are not making fun of bulimia with this chair. Uh, we are trying to engage people in, in a lighthearted way, perhaps, to deal with a really difficult um, and very, very common issue. So as you come up to this belly, you can look at different belly buttons um, and consider your own relationship with food. The collaborative aspect of the project has been a huge component. Most of the content is driven by participation of community members and other artists. We have uh, involved community members from several different states, many people from the Topeka and Lawrence and Salina and Emporia communities to make Milagros, to make their own offerings. Milagro is Spanish for miracle. Milagros and ex votos are used all over the world as offerings to honor illness, to ask for healing. Um, they are objectified body parts often that might represent a particular malady. And we have displayed these in the uh, first part of the exhibition and also in the rotunda of the library. So anyone walking into the library can walk through our Hall of Miracles. We invite people to consider these milagros um, and how they might relate to their own personal health issues. This is the book, A Waiting Room of One's Own. The title is based on the uh, theme by Virginia Woolf, A Room of Her Own. We're playing off that literary kind of connection, but this is a documentation of the, the installation and the process of making this installation that's been expanded upon and become its own thing also that can uh, sit independently. Uh, 16 essays by women from all across the country dealing with different issues. Like the installation, which is very, very brilliant of our um, general editor, Sarah Smarsh, like the installation, it's set up so that in the beginning you enter a more public space, as we did when we entered the waiting room installation. And then you move into more private, um, less public space and then you get to the real impact of the individual experience in the back of the book and you have memoir sections. So this contains um, general kind of observations, scientific information, and memoir. And it's filled with colored images of the installation as well. Um, it is available if you go to www thewaitingroomproject.org and you can purchase a copy online. We encourage everyone to do so. It's really a, a wonderful publication.